Before we get started, make sure to let me know in the comments down below your opinion on AI. Is it going to replace hackers or do you think it's actually a useful tool in hacking? In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating to you how easy it is to learn hacking or ethical hacking with DeepSeek. Now, this is not going to be one of those tutorials where you'll learn how to make a reverse shell or you'll learn how to do this low level silly hacking, which actually, in my opinion, isn't even hacking. It's mostly social engineering because you have to trick your target to install something. But I'll be showing you an actual hacking tutorial where you actually get to learn some ethical hacking that you can utilize in bug bounty world and earn some money while being ethical and completely legal. I'll be using the Portswigger Labs as a demonstration website, and I'll solve this lab, lab of course, and we're not going to be going to be uh, exploiting any hard challenges yet, but in the future videos, we might actually try to see how AI can handle those. But this is a good representation of an actual website. This is just a blog website. We have a search functionality, and today we're gonna be exploiting this website using the DeepSeek. Now for YouTube, this is just a regular website, but it's intended to be hacked. And maybe where... if you want to actually learn hacking from me, then check out my course which is down in the description box below i'll teach everything from the basics all the way to the basically professional level so if you're interested then check it out link is in the description so how do i plan on solving this lab or basically if i already saw it but you can see that the lab is a reflected xss into a javascript string using with angle brackets html encoded if you have no experience with hacking this all might seem gibberish to you which of course i get you don't worry about it it's fair and we've all been there, dude. So let's take a look at how actually I'm going to exploit this. So if you have a website like this, you might ask DeepSeek, why is hacking? But let me tell you, hacking actually in this sense is finding a vulnerability in a system or a website in this case, and then making an exploit, which is going to act as a proof of concept, which then you report to the website owners and you earn money. And this is known as the white hat hacking and is the only acceptable type of hacking and the only hacking type I promote on this channel and make sure to be very ethical because anything other than that, you're going into this gray area, which, you know, you can be punished, but even with jail time, fines and whatever, depending on where you live. So I'm going to be giving the deep seek this website and going to tell him, hey, hack it for me. Well, kind of, not really. So I'll go in and tell him, hey, I'm a beginner in hacking. So I told him, hey, I'm a beginner in hacking in the bug bounty world. This is my target. What kind of vulnerabilities do I look for? And let's click send. So let's see what deep seek has to say. So he tells us step-by-step -step instructions on what we should do. And first is understand the target. Of course, you have to understand the target. What functionalities do you have? And this is something I promote on my course heavily. You have to understand the functionalities of a website. And this is a good start. You have to look at login, search, file upload, etc. Because this is where, you know, vulnerabilities tend to arise. Let's tell him that we do have a search functionality. So I told him that we have a search functionality. So let's get it to say what, what is he going to do? So it tells us that we need to test for SQLI or SQL injection in this search functionality. It also tells us to test for XSS too, and also OS command injection, which is, you know, a very good start as well as no SQL injection or because if it uses a MongoDB, it's a whole different concept. And even SSRF, if it, you know, it, I mean, it, it is a bit outrageous, but sometimes these outrageous claims can actually bring you and yield you a vulnerability. So I'm going to be searching for, for example, um, an XSS here, but because I already know that this is an XSS, but you can go step by step. And let's just skip over these boring parts because I don't want to keep this video too long. And I'm just going to search for an XSS. So I'm going to search for this, click search. And of course, it's not going to work. So I'm going to tell them. So I told them, hey, I searched for XSS, but it didn't work. I put what you gave me and nothing came up. Should I give you the source code for you to analyze of the client side? So let's see what he tells me. Okay, so he told me that I should check the source code. So let's go Control Shift I. I mean, you should know this. And let's basically give him the code. So I should just maybe give him this, this, or should I give him the whole thing? You know what? I'm just going to be a noob and just going to give him a whole thing. So I'll just pause this and be like, hey, this is a source code. All right, let's see what he does. All right, so what the hell did just happen? He told me your input is reflected inside a JavaScript string, which is true. You can see that this is actually the case. And it tells me that then the app uses, so it explains me the JavaScript code behind it. And it also tells me why my payload didn't work. It's because the payload is inside a variable. So we need to escape the string instead of injecting raw HTML. And it tells me to basically close the string with a single quote and add the malicious code afterwards. So it explains me the exploit and it gives me the exploit. So let's copy this and let's, you know, try it out to see whether it works. 
click search. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> he actually was able to break down the vulnerability and give me a working exploit for it. Now, me being a noob, I'll tell him, hey, now I see a weird pop-up which contains a one. So I told him, hey, I see this weird pop-up which contains a one. Once I enter this payload, let's click enter to see whether he tells me, yo, you found a vulnerability. And he says, it sounded like your XSS payload worked. Damn. And he also goes afterwards now basically to explain it. And what's the next challenge? <laughs> so he tells me what can happen, but these are illegal. Of course, uh, don't try this on an actual website. I don't even know why it is he giving this, but you know, it's just telling you why this is dangerous. I think this is the reasoning behind it. It's just telling you why this could be dangerous. And the fact that it solved this actually fairly easily and quickly really blows my mind. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you will use DeepSeek to learn your ethical hacking and up your game because it's very powerful and very useful. Make sure to check out my course. Link is in the description. Make sure to subscribe as well. And if you want to see the video with John Hammond, then, you know, leave a comment down below. Stay safe, stay responsible, and as always, peace.